<laughs> Alright, this is the third time trying to record this thing. There was some fun something funky happening with the camera. Welcome beautiful people. This is a Vladdy over vlog. I'm trying to get through some shit. Uh, because I haven't really covered everything I wanted to talk about last week. And the only thing to cover is the fact that I had an interview last week. I had an interview last week. I found it on Craigslist and I just, you know, I just threw <laughs> I just threw out a, a resume. Because the thing is, you know, I've been hearing that you know, I've been having a lot of frustrations trying to find a job. Um, if you can actually look at, like, I actually record the amount of jobs I try to apply for. If you actually look at all the jobs I actually try to apply for, I have like 99 jobs. And this is within this year, right? So it's like <laughs> I'm having trouble. So now I'm thinking to myself, I must be doing something wrong. And I heard the idea of possibly just always customizing the job customize your resume for the job and maybe that will work and my thing is i don't know if that's really the case because i try to do that shit and i still didn't really get any replies back so it's like damn i have to spend like five to ten minutes i right, reading reading over the things that the job requires and didn't try to copy and paste it in my resume is that's what i'm supposed to do in any case i i applied to something on craigslist and the day after um, I actually got actually on that day I got a call but I didn't know the number and I, so I didn't like respond to it and then the day after I got a call and I actually picked it up and it's like oh uh, you made some type of you made some post measure made posts on Craigslist we would like to set up an interview and I was like okay cool um, and I don't know I think I did that on like a Thursday uh, the interview was on a Thursday of last week so I, I go to the interview i don't even know anything about the job i don't even know what the company is about at all but it was like 30 minutes away so i'm like okay this is pretty cool and it's better than than working at the job and i want to talk about the job fully to a full extent because i never really uh, put all like all my thoughts about the job i'm currently working so i had to leave early from my job i will not leave early i had to leave my job then put on something change my clothes drive to that location i get there but i was like five minutes late and the strangest thing about the job was this was supposed to be like some i started to realize this was supposed to be some type of i don't want to say luxury but it was supposed to be some type of company that focuses on health insurance and i think it's called like pri propriety health care but when i got through the door all I heard, it was so funny. It was like, I heard the loudest noise, the loudest music of Trick Daddy playing within the fucking company, within the office, which was like the one of the most, it took me like, took me back for a second because I, I, I was like, what the fuck? Am I listening to Trick Daddy? What the hell? You know what I mean? I was listening throughout the whole process of staying there. All you heard was loud rap music playing within the office which was like one of the most one of the most interesting and just weird things i i have ever experienced and it's not like it's not weird to hear rap music but it's weird to hear rap music in, in also together with like a company or some type of business that focuses on health insurance you know what i mean i don't know like it sort of took me back it made me like what the fuck you know what i mean because i'm like here trick daddy it's not like oh this is some filtered or you know the clean version of trick Daddy. no they got the all the uncut raw versions of trick that th throughout the whole process of the interview all they played was like trick daddy they played ludicrous and they played juicy J like throughout the whole interview process. And the funny thing is I had to wait for a very long time, man. I had to wait for like an hour, you know? And the thing is the only reason why I was able to actually uh, apply because I was waiting, I sat there, there was already two people there. There was like, there was a guy there and there was like an old lady there. And that's why it was really funny. Cause you hear, you hear like trick daddy say, I'm just a, I, 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 how does the song go? I'm a rootin' tootin' shooter ass nigga. And it's like this white lady just like, you know, <laughs> this is why <laughs> this is white old white lady like just trying to ignore the lyrics, and then like Juicy J came on, and you know that that bands of make dance. I don't know, most people might not know that song. Bands of make dance. This is like one part in the song where it's like, and it ain't a strip club if it ain't showing pussy. 
And I just started like, I just like started to think of myself like, damn, I, this is so fucking odd to me. I mean, it was like the oddest thing in the world, especially like, it's like, it was it, hearing all that shit. And then also knowing that this is a company that, that, that works on healthcare, <laughs> works on healthcare insurance. I'm not saying you can't like rap music, but you're blasting it. Like. So everybody can hear, at least within the office space. I thought that was interesting. But it was also very annoying because, I mean, there was supposed to be a receptionist at the desk and nobody was there. So waiting for like 20 minutes for the receptionist to come, I was like, okay, fuck this shit. I'm just going to get up into the office and see what's going on. So I had to walk up in the office just to, just to tell the person, hey, you know, I got an interview at 3 and it's like 3.20. It's like, oh, okay. So I filled out some application, whatever. And still, I had to wait a very long time. And then it was like 4.20 something. I'm like, you know, I need to fucking leave. Because you haven't even showed me, you haven't even shown that you're going to service me or at least do the interview. I was a little bit really annoyed just, just sitting in this chair for so long. To the point that I was like, I'm, I'm going to get up and leave. But eventually, they, they you know, they, they got, got me, they brought, brought me over, sat in the conference room, and we did the interview. Now, the interview was very short. Um, and the details of the, the job, I mean, what they wanted me to do sounded very simple. Um, now the pay range was supposed to be between 16 to $20, but I didn't even ask for that. I asked for $25. I was like, fuck that shit. Right. <laughs> because I feel like that, because if you actually look into statistics about entry level developers, like that's the starting price. So I was like, fuck that. I'm going to, I'm going to go for $25. And when I was talking to the guy who was supposed to interview me, it, it was a very short one, but he was telling me that I was a good fit for the job. So when I left the place, I thought to myself, oh, I'm, I'm, I might, there's a possibility I might get this job because he feels like I'm a good fit. And he told me like next week, Monday, he's going to give me a call, to determine whether I got the job or not. And he was making this spiel about, you know, I hate when people don't, <laughs> I hate when people don't call you. Um, and they just make you, they just make you assume, you know, they just, they don't call you or tell you if you got the job or not. So I'm going to make it my, my issue to, to tell you if you got the job or not. So I'm like, oh, that's great because now I can get some feedback immediately and know that I'm not going to get the job. But, uh, nah, this motherfucker never called back. He never called me back to tell me I didn't get the job or I did get the job. It was all just horse shit. <laughs> it was all just a horse shit spill he gave me. So I'm like, okay, you know. And so I was like, all right, whatever, you know. Because at the same time, I don't really want to be a web designer. I just wanted to get out the job. And if this was one of the possibilities to get out the job, and I, and I thought to myself, man, I'm over, over qualified for this fucking job. I mean, I can do it. You know what I mean? I'll do it because moving up from twelve dollars an hour to twenty dollars an hour is way better, right? But the thing is, yeah, I didn't get the job. And I think to myself, I wonder why I didn't get the job. And I don't know. Maybe it was because I put $25. I put it over the limit that they wanted to pay. So they were just like, fuck this guy. And they just threw my resume. <laughs> they threw my application away. They're like, fuck this guy. This guy doesn't give a shit. He needs to be in the boundaries. I don't know. But, oh, well. Um, I don't give a shit. Uh, I care, but I was like, at the same time, like, it is what it is. And another thing is, um, what, what else I want to talk about? Yeah, so so within the jobs or trying to get a job, I realized I need to get more internships. I need to get more internships because I feel like, I mean, I thought I, when I quit G6 management, I would easily get a job. I would easily get a job because I know before G6 management in 2017, I had like a lot of, there was a lot of interviews I went to. I, lived, I we, at least went to like six at least six in 2017 but now in 2019 i only went to like three at most only three and i'm thinking to myself wow what the fuck is going on and i know i haven't applied to as many jobs as i did in 2017 i don't think i did so i'm thinking to myself what the hell is going on so it makes me think okay maybe i just need to get more experience and Maybe I should just do this job, my current job, and then have two days set apart where I can just work do, doing an internship and stuff like that, for, and I'll work for free, and I don't give a shit. So I've been applying to a lot of jobs within Craigslist and telling them, you know, just emailing them, hey, I'll work for free if you just give me an internship where I do X, Y, Z, 
and I haven't really got any response except one and I want to talk about that but I also want to talk about this important thing before I before I forget you remember when I said that you know I feel like af- activated charcoal was really effective or it was something that was helping me I think I had to take that shit back <laughs> I think I had to take that shit back especially for this week uh, for this week for some reason the activated charcoal wasn't wasn't helping at all when I was working at the job I was working you know as a BA attendant at the theater it wasn't helping at all it was actually I was I was getting worse reactions I was getting worse reactions like and it's so funny because I'm trying to think like what could it possibly be could it be the fact that maybe my odor maybe like I don't know because sometimes your odor is not gonna be as strong in certain moments in certain time periods maybe it's sort of like lowers at a certain time period so maybe i'm thinking to myself maybe there's that maybe that was the case or maybe it's like new food that i've I've been been eating because you know i've been trying to get more protein so what i decided to do was buy like chicken breasts right so i bought chicken breasts and i i grilled them i grilled them on like it's not it's not really a george foreman grill but it's something like that and i also bought veggie burgers um, and I thought to myself, maybe the veggie burgers, you know, I, if, I, if I can't really eat beef or I can't eat, you know, I can't eat other types of meats. Maybe I should just eat a veggie burger and get the protein from that. And so I've been eating like pretty much around my diet. I've just been eating like an apple, orange, sweet potato, chicken breast, and like a vegan burger, which like with like whole wheat bread, mustard, and like cheese. And boy, I've been getting like, I've, I've had like a really annoying, stressful days. Like if I could just talk about them a little bit, like, let me try to think of one. Because here's, an, here's another thing about this week. This week is the final week of graduation week because like I said, well, within my area, schools get out at June 6th. So from high school and down, schools get out June 6th, right? So throughout this week, there was just so many, like, there's so many graduations. And sometimes there would be like two graduations that are happening in a day. And, oh my God, it was so annoying because within my job, I want to talk about my job. Ooh. So I've been really thinking about this, comparing my last job where I was working at a shopping plaza in the night compared to this job. And there are some certain perks about this job that are way better than last job. So, first perk is the commute. It takes me maybe five to 10 minutes, not five to 10, eh, five to 10 minutes to get there, unless I have to like go on rush hour, then it might take me 20 minutes. If I had to go, drive during rush hour when people are trying to get, go home, then I'll probably take me 20 minutes, 25 minutes, but usually it takes me five to 10 minutes. So that's a good thing. Secondly, is the pay, obviously $12 an hour, compared to $9 an hour when I was working at, you know, as a security officer, as a shopping plaza, way better, $3 more, hooray, that's great. And the fourth one is, oh yeah, I get paid weekly. I don't know why most jobs don't do this, they don't pay weekly, I love getting paid weekly, I love seeing extra cash in my bank account on a Friday of every week, it's great. But the thing is, I started comparing like the quality of the job, like the quality, like me having some some minute enjoyment of the job. And I realized the job is terrible. <laughs> the job is really terrible. It's really terrible because it's like majority of the job is you just standing around. Is you just standing up for hours, just standing up for hours. And a lot of times you're standing up in the hot ass sun. And for me, <laughs> Even if I didn't have the odor condition, me standing up in a hot ass sun for hours just to service, you know, check people's bags or something, or just to stand around the plaza area to survey the people and see if anything good or bad, if people want to ask me questions, like that's so annoying. Your feet get so fucking tired and just, it's just annoying an experience, honestly. So if I didn't have the odor, it would still be annoying. Now you add the layer of funkiness to it, where if you start to sweat, just sweat a little. You start feeling little droplets form on your little chest. 
people are like, oh my God. Or some you might overhear someone say, oh, it's stinking over here. Or some shit like that. You're like, what the fuck, right? And that's basically what happened. I have like two positions I had to do throughout the whole week, which was checking bags and doing corridor. So basically a corridor is basically, I have to open the door for all these graduates. who There's like some type of door between the auditorium and the backstage. I have to open the door for the, for, you know, the, the kids to walk through. And there'd be so many situations, oh my God, throughout this week, where I had to open the door several times for different high school students. And I would, you know, I would see them like, make like little comments like, ill, or they'll make little, they make little noises or some shit like that, especially when they're walking back. You know, I would see the mouth like mouth off like, oh, my God, he smells like shit or some shit like that. I didn't hear him. But I see, some nights you could like read their lips when they look back and, and, and mention to their friends or whatever. So it just like pissed me off. And it's like, what the fuck? And it will also give me so many so much anxiety. I know like when you have anxiety, your odor smells worse. And you, I try to do like deep breathing. I try to. I try to like meditate, not meditate, but like try to calm myself down by just deeply breathing in and out. But I was still getting anxiety and it was just really annoying. On top of that, like staff members, you know, start doing this, that stupid shit too. Like when they, when they pass by you, you, you start, to, you start to hear them take a deep breath in as if to not smell whatever invisible odor I have. And it was just, it was just aggravating, really aggravating. And especially in the last two, like on a Thursday and on a Friday, it was really aggravating because it was like, it was, it was so strange. It was so strange because first off, again, I had to work two graduations. So I had to, I had to spend like eight hours at this place. And when I was there, I thought I was, I'd smell, I was going to smell fine because all I ate was just, again, apple, orange, um, maybe chicken breast and a, a veggie burger or some shit. But, you know, I heard comments like, <laughs> I heard more comments about, oh my God, he smelled like shit. And this is from like audience members or, or people who were coming in to do the graduation where I had to check bags. I remember seeing a little kid like hold his nose like this while he passed by me. It was the worst. It was the worst. And this was happening on a Thursday and it was just so bad. And I'm thinking to myself, what the fuck? And the thing is like, the thing is you just like... <laughs> We had to stay there for eight hours. Like when you do the first graduation and it's bad, and you're sweating, you st I started had this. It was like 89 degrees outside, and I had to check bags. And this was like somewhere in, in the in the in the afternoon. And I not only had to check bags, I had to check bag. There's two people I had to check bags, and they so I had to be with another person. So the thing is, you know, the the guy would just like make excuses to like leave and just talk to other people like he would do that and i know he would do that simply off the fact that you know i smell so horrendous or whatever the case may be and it was just it it, it really pissed me the fuck off it really annoyed me it really annoyed me like fucking crazy because i'm like how the fuck can i smell this bad with all i'm eating is this shit and now i'm like questioning whether it's like a veggie burger or the meat but I don't think it's, it could be chicken because people say that chicken is fine. It doesn't make them smell as bad. Um, but I know the veggie burger had like, I don't know. I don't know what the veggie burger had. It had a number of shit. Uh, let me, let me actually look into that. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Let me, let me try to see if I could find the veggie burger. Hold on. Let me, let me switch my camera for a second here. Boop. Boop. Okay. Like, hold up. Let me try to get this like veggie burger thing. Oops. Yeah. Cool. Hold on. All right, so 
I am back. And this is the veggie burger thing, right? This is the veggie burger. Plant plant based burger. And I'm like looking at the like ingredients and it always says organic, organic plant based crumbles, organic soy flour, water, organic cornstarch, organic, organic, all this organic stuff. But now that I'm reading it, um, I think soy is bad for us. I think soy makes us smell worse. At least I've, that's what I heard. And it has like organic soybean and organic coconut. Hmm. Organic onion powder. Organic natural flavor. What the fuck does that mean? Organic, organic natural flavors. Let's see if it can focus on this shit. And it can. Organic natural flavors. Organic beet powder. Organic garlic and organic sea salt. Like, what the fuck is that stupid shit? I mean, let me just put this thing back. But the point is, like, I don't know if this is making me smell bad. I don't know what is making me smell bad. I don't even know. Because that's, that's the thing, like, you start to smell bad or people start re reacting really. Uh, there's a higher occurrence of people reacting to you or you hear comments of someone saying, oh, you smell, oh, he smells like shit or he smells bad. And it's like, what <laughs> you're thinking like what what the fuck am i eating that makes me smell so bad and then you get really annoyed you get pissed off by the people this is why i fucking hate i hate all these people i hate all the people in my staff all the people that i had to work with because i know they're talking shit behind my back once they, once i leave so it just annoys me like crazy and it makes me think to myself like even if i get a new job the same thing's gonna fucking happen the same thing is going to is going to occur where people are just going to keep saying, oh, he smells like shit. And I'm going to have to deal with the same thing. Like when I really think about throughout my whole life with all the jobs from high school to college or all the jobs I went, I always had to deal with the same bullshit. Like, oh, he smells so bad. Blah, blah, blah. And it gets it gets to you. It slowly gets to you. It makes you not want to go to work. It makes you consider leaving until one day you just get up and leave or you quit the job. You know, that like for me, like there's not too many jobs where I, I was there for more than a year. You know, there's not too many jobs where I had to work with people and I was there for a year plus. It was only like a couple. There was only a couple of jobs where I was close to a year, but most of my jobs, I was not there for a year. I, I usually, I either quit the job or I found another job or some shit like that. So it's like throughout the whole process even when i think about okay i want to get a career in web development like am i ever going to be there for a year like a first couple of maybe the first month it's not going to be that bad but after a while people are going to get mad at you they're going to be mad at the site they see you and they get mad at you and then they're going to be more bold about their comments because they want you to hear them you know but if you punch them in the face then you're wrong right you know what I mean? like you're wrong if you punch these motherfuckers in the face you're wrong if you do some fucked up shit to them. Now you're, oh, now you're the bad guy. You know, what I'm you're the, oh my god. Not only does he smell like shit, he's also a villain. <laughs> let me let me return these shits because this is supposed to be in, this is supposed to be frozen, and I don't want to just leave them thawed out and stuff. So let me try to switch my camera here. Hey, right. let me close this down. And I am back. So what I was going to say, like, um, it's just really annoying. And even on a Friday was really annoying because I wanted to talk about the fact that I been applying for internships or I've been going on Cra Craigslist asking for internships. A person replied back. They said, OK, um, we don't actually want you to do an internship on this. We do have some things that we need to need you to take care of. But let's let's see. Let's test out your skills come over here at this address on, on this time. And this was on a Friday and I was supposed to go on a Friday morning at 11 a.m. And this is in downtown Miami and that's far. So that's like 40 minute drive or something. So I, I get up, go 40 minute drive, downtown Miami, cool. Um, and I find out that I'm like in some type of mall area. I've been here before only once. 
Um, but I was completely lost because it, they said there was on the fifth floor. I couldn't find the fucking fifth floor. So I'm wandering around for like 20 to 30 minutes, even though I was early. I got there early. But I'm wandering around 20 to 30 minutes now to the point I'm late. And not only that, with the Miami heat and it was very humid, I was like drenched in sweat. Like my 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 face was completely drenched in sweat. Back, my back, my chest. I was drenched in sweat. I was thinking to myself, oh man, I hopefully I don't smell bad because I'm probably going to smell really offensive because even a small, you know, small driplets of sweat happened to me. People like say, oh my God, he smells so bad. So now I'm drenched in sweat. And I'm like, oh man, hopefully, you know, this veggie burger or whatever I'm eating is not going to make me smell bad. So uh, finally, I, f I find out the place where the fifth floor is. There's like a there's like a secret hidden elevator compartment that I'm supposed to go to, and then go up the fifth floor. Finally, meet his ass, and I, you know I had to like make up. I knew I was probably smelling bad to some people, so I had to like say to the guy, "Okay, I have some odor condition. I have some liver disease that makes me smell bad. So if you smell something, it's not because I have a hygiene problem, or whatever." And I didn't really get it out as w as best as I wanted to say. But that's what I wanted to say. And he was like, he didn't really, really respond. He was like, okay. And he had like a deep voice. He was like, okay. He had, he had like a very like, like he, st he talked like he was a giant. That's one thing I could talk about. <laughs> like this guy, I think he's Middle Eastern. I can't even tell. I think he's Middle Eastern. I know he has like a, a golden tan and he has gray hair. I guess he's Middle, I don't know what he is. I would just assume he's Middle Eastern. Um, but he had like a very deep voice, like I had a bellowed and shit. Okay. And he was like that. So I was like, okay, whatever. And so we finally go into his room and within the room, it was just a small room that that's been rented out, but it had some of the biggest monitors I have ever seen in my life. Yeah. It's some of the, I have, I literally have never seen monitors, computer monitors that size they were like mammoth size and i'm like whoa right that's that's the first thing i just i just realized when i when i walked in and there was only like there was only him and some other guy and to make a long story short he wanted me to take some tests to test on my skills because you know i could be you know they just need to do that just to see if you can do it so i was like okay i'll do that um and i start doing it and <laughs> He, he emails me some type of test and I'm like, okay, I'm pretty good at, you know, JavaScript. He was going to test on my JavaScript skills. And I'm like, I'm pretty good with JavaScript. I, I've been around the, I've been around the block. I, I know a couple of functions and, <laughs> and event handlings. I know a couple of those things. I think I can, I think I could take, <laughs> I think I could take care of it. With, I had to do that test. It was a test. 54 questions and it was two hours and 30 minutes or something i had to take that motherfucker boy i was so fucking confused <laughs> i was so fucking confused i'm like what the fuck is this shit? i was like i was like i'm like on with a qu question one like in deep thought like hmm I was like that on question one. I'm like, this is bad. <laughs> this is really bad. On question one, it's, it's, this shit is difficult to me. This is really bad. And I had to go through all of those motherfuckers. And I wasn't able to finish at all. I wasn't able to finish at all. Because on that Friday, I had an interview with, uh, I had an interview with uh, Croissant. I think that's how you say your name, Croissant. Um, and I was supposed to do it at 1 p.m. So I was like, okay, I got there 11, I got there late, um, and I had to do the test, and I think I did the test at 11.20. So I, I, after after it hit like 1 p.m., um, I was like, okay, you know, I had to tell the guy, okay, I can't, I can't do this anymore. I gotta, I gotta go to, I gotta have something I had to go to. He's like, okay. Oh, wait, I had to do the Bella words. Okay, well, do you want to do, I'm actually sounding like I'm from the UK. Well, you can do it on a Saturday. And I was like, yeah, yeah, I'll do it on i I'll do it on a Saturday, you know what I'm saying? Because I can't do it. Because and I actually have a free day on Saturday. I'm not actually working on Saturday, so this is perfect. I should have done this a long time ago. He's like, Great. So 
I will walk you out, you know, and he walks me out, and while I get walked out, and I go down the stairs, and I go down the elevator, and I walk out to try to find my, 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 my car, oh, fuck, I walk out to find my car, it's already 30 minutes, Jesus Christ, I walk out to find my car, I'm passing by, I'm passing by a lot of people, because, you know, I'm in the mall, and I overhear someone say, oh my god, he smells, he stinks so bad. And it was just a black dude walking with this white woman. And I'm like, what the fuck? Really? Even when I don't, even when I stopped sweating because I was like in the room, I still stink so bad. I'm like, this is bad because I had to go to work. I had to go to work later on, on a Friday. And I mean, later on that Friday. Uh, so when I finally get home, okay, I do the interview with Chris on, cool. It's like 3.30 or something after the interview, almost close to 4 o'clock. I have to go to work at like 6.30 or some shit. Do a lot of stuff. Go to 6.30. Go to, to go to work at 6.30. And it was worth, like, the experience was worse. Like, like with this experience, people are angry at you. Like, like you violated them. You know what I mean? Like, like, you pissed in their oatmeal. People are mad at you. You know what I mean? Like, you fucked, like, you fucked their ex-girl. <laughs> like, you fucked their ex-girlfriend. <laughs> Like you finger their wife or something. <laughs> like you finger their wife. Like you slap their baby. <laughs> People are mad at you. Like, and that pisses me off. And at the same time, it aggravates you because you're like, bro, I'm barely eating food. I'm barely eating food, and people are treating me this way. And it it just gets it just gets to you. It, it annoys you, and and it stresses you out. And when you stress out even more, you smell worse. So. But at the same time, I noticed based on the reactions on that Friday that it was less. There was less reaction on that Friday, even though, um, even though people like these the staff members were acting like a smell horrendous, and it, and it all, all the time it just pisses you off and gets you angry. And there's like nothing you can do about it because you don't want to be around these motherfuckers. You don't like these motherfuckers, but you're doing it because you have to pay bills. You need a check, whatever. So on that Friday, it was just annoying. And on a Saturday, I had to go back to the place to finish the test. And I already was on like, oh man, I didn't even feel like going back to the place to do the test. I didn't feel like going back to the place to do the test because like, bro, I just like, I was guessing. The <laughs> I was guessing throughout the whole interview. I like, I think this is what the answer is. So I didn't really want to go back. But at the same time, like, I, I have to go back because... I rarely get opportunities to do anything. I rarely get opportunities to do interviews, so I have to finish the test. And if I fail, whatever. At least I tried. That's how I felt. So on this Saturday, I go back. Um, it was raining hard, which is a bad thing for commuting because it's raining. So you had this fear that you might get in an accident. But it was great for me because it wasn't it wasn't hot outside, so I wasn't sweating as much. So that was great. It was good and bad. Finally, get back. And when I get back to the interview, I finish, I, f I finally finish. I actually only had like 17 questions left. So there were 54 questions when I left. I had 17 questions left. And yeah, it was just as difficult. And, but, you know, after I finished the, qu after I finished, com completely finished the test, I was supposed to receive some type of email shortly after that, that rates my skills in JavaScript. And... When I got the email, <laughs> when I got the email that showed, it showed me like a, it showed a graph of how good or bad I was at, at JavaScript. I was fucking surprised I had a good score. I had like 75 out of 100. Now people say, oh, that's just a C, so that's bad. Technically, yeah. But it's like, at the same time, they, they rate it by proficiency. If you are in somewhere between 60 to 79, you're proficient in this language. And I had a 75. And then if you have like 80 to 100, that means you're, you're strong in the language. And if you're 60 and under, that means you're weak in the language. I had a 75. That was almost close to an 80. And if I had an 80, that means, oh, I was really strong. So when that happened, when I was like, oh, shit. I guess I'm not as shitty as I was, as I thought I was in this language. Oh shit, I, I actually was killing the fucking test. Cause I was like guessing a lot. I was like, maybe it's this, maybe it's that. 
And I was like, oh, man, I'm going to have the worst test in the world. I'm going to have the worst test girls in the world. And I'm like, well, I had to, like, make up an excuse. I was thinking I had to make up an excuse and shit. Well, you know, those tests were hard, you know what I'm saying? If I had to, like, make up excuses and shit. And <laughs> surprisingly, I didn't have to say, I was like, yeah, I'll look it up. I mean, I'm proficient in this shit. You know what I mean? Just look at the test. The test won't lie to you, you know what I'm saying? So after that happens, she's like, okay, okay, well... Um, to make a long story short, they proposed like, okay, here's, here's what we can do. We're just going to just test you out for two days and tell you if you have to test you out for two days, we'll do two days a week and see if you're, you're good enough to do like these, these tests or whatever. And uh, if you, you consistently succeed, maybe we'll consider you putting full time. So next week I had to come in on a Tuesday you know, and just install things and run things and start learning things and to see if I, just to see, and they're going to just test and just check to see if I really am good at what I'm doing. So I wanted to say all this, I, I'm pretty sure this is almost like 40 minutes long, maybe 40 minutes already, but I wanted to say this, like throughout my life, I just always felt like if I just got my foot in the door, um, I can, I can, I know I can land a job. Yeah. I'm going to so like shit. Yeah. At the, at, after a certain point, people going to be angry. Uh, to see me and I always make comments saying I smell like shit just like you know in the current job I'm in which I want to leave the fucking job because it's just not worth it but I know I'm going to still get shit wherever I go which is another reason why I want to work remote and try to find a job re remotely but I still need to just get my foot in the door and if I can get my foot in the door bro I know I can get like a career and right now I feel like I don't have my foot in the door but I got my big toe in the door. And with that big toe in the door, I could slide, I could sort of slide in and possibly get like a career, which I've been trying to get for the last five years. Um, that's all I wanted, that's what I really wanted to talk about. Sliding my big toe in the door. If I could just slide my big toe in the door, bro, I can, I can, I can kill it. You know what I'm saying? So. I want to say all that. I don't know how long this is going to be, but if you made it this far, I salute you. The end.